Hey guys, and welcome to the Chemistry Shack. Well, it's actually a garage, but the Chemistry Garage just didn't sound as good. Anyway, today I want to give you a tour of my current lab setup. As I'm short of storage space, I keep all my equipment in cardboard and plastic boxes. Starting on the far left, this is where I keep all of my burners, torches, and hot plates. Next is the overflow container for all of my glassware. As you can see, I have various beakers, flasks, and storage containers. The third box contains graduated cylinders, rubber stoppers, assorted storage containers, test tubes, and other miscellaneous items. Underneath my work table are three plastic bins. The first one has whey boats, distilled water, plastic tubing, and adhesives, so tapes, glues, and epoxies. I know it's unorganized, but somehow I managed to find everything. Now, normally on top of this bin, I would have a smaller cardboard box, but I've removed it right now to show you what's inside. So, it contains two smaller boxes. This one is filled with scoops, spatulas, spoons, and stirring rods, and the other one holds glass tubes and thermometers. I also keep a variety of small syringes and pipettes in here. The middle box stores all of my larger tools, like scissors, knives, pliers, and tongs. It also has my favorite tool for removing chemicals stuck to the inside of test tubes. The last bin under the table is full of miscellaneous items that I couldn't find anywhere else to put. On the other side of the table lies my box full of safety equipment. And finally, this last container is devoted entirely to storage of glassware. On the back wall is another plastic bin containing many smaller cardboard boxes. The first one on the right is filled with crucibles, evaporating dishes, and watch glasses. The one in the middle has my two scales, but they're currently buried under a bunch of barrel pipettes. This box is where I keep all my ring stand accessories, and finally, this last box is where I have all my filtration equipment. Most of my chemicals are stored on these four shelves alongside my mom's gardening supplies. Right now, it is very disorganized and extremely unsafe, as all the chemicals are stored right next to each other and not segregated by type. So it takes me about five minutes to actually find the chemical I need for an experiment. I'm hoping to install some more shelves on that back wall there so I can organize all my chemicals. Finally, these last three boxes contain chemicals from various online suppliers. 